Hovana Stamanian was an Armenian poet, writer, translator, and literary and public activist. He is the national poet of Armenia. Tumanian wrote poems, quatrains, ballads, novels, fables, and critical and journalistic articles. His work was mostly written in realistic form, that frequently revolves around everyday life of his time. Born in the historical village of Seg in the Lori region, at a young age Tumanian moved to Tiflis, which was the center of Armenian culture under the Russian Empire during the 19th and early 20th centuries. He soon became known to the wide Armenian society for his simple but very poetic works. Many films and animated films have been adapted from Tumanian's works. Two operas, Anoush by Armin Tigranian and Almast by Alexander Spendiarian, were written based on his works. Tumanian's parents were Natch members in 1903. Isaacian, Agayan, Tumanian, and Shant, Demirshan. The Tumanian family the house where Tumanian lived in Tiflis Hovanas Tumanian was born on February 19, 1869 in the village of Seg, Tiflis Governorate, Russian Empire. His father, Aslan, was the village priest known as Ter Tatavos. He was an offspring of an Armenian princely family of Tumanian, branch of the famous royal house of Mamikonian that settled in Lorian 10th and 11th centuries from their original feudal fief of Terran. His mother, Sona, was an avid storyteller with a particular interest in fables. Young Tumanian was the oldest of eight children, his siblings were Rostam, Osan, Iskui, Bahan, Azik, Arshaver, Artashes. From 1877 to 1879, Tumanian attended the parochial school of Tseg. From 1879 to 1883 he went to a school in Jalalali. Tumanian moved to Tiflis in 1883, where he attended the Nurzian school from 1883 to 1887. Tumanians wrote his first poem at the age of 12, while studying in Jalalali school. He lived at the teacher's house for a while and fell in love with the teacher's daughter Vergina. Since 1893, Tumanian worked for a beer, Merch, Hasker and Horizon periodicals and also was engaged in public activism. In 1899, Tumanian came up with an idea of organizing meetings of Armenian intellectuals at the time at his house on 44 Bebitov Street in Tiflis. Soon it became an influential literary group, which often gathered in the garret of Tumanian's house. Vernach means garret in Armenian, which was the name the group was referred to. Prominent members of the collective were Avatik Izakian, Direnik D. Merchian, Levon Shant, Gazarozagayan, Perch Prashian, Nikola Balian, Alexander Shirvanzade, Nardas. Vertains Papazian, Vahan Terian, Leo, Stepan Lizitsian, Mariam Tumanian, Gavorg Bashan Jagyan, and many other significant Armenian figures of early 20th century. With some pauses, it existed until 1908. In 1912, Tumanian was elected the president of the Company of Caucasus Armenian Writers. In the fall of 1921, Tumanian went to Constantinople to find support of Armenian refugees. After months spent there, he returned ill. After surgery in 1922, he started to get better. But in September, Tumanian's disease started to progress again. He was transferred to a hospital in Moscow, where he died on March 23, 1923. In 1888, at the age of 19, Hovanas Tumanian married Olga Machkalian, 17. They had 10 children, Musi, Ashkin, Nverd, Artavazd, Hamlik, Anush, Arpik, Areg, Seda, Tamar. During the government-provoked Armenian Tatar massacres of 1905-1907, Tumanyan took the role of a peacemaker, for which he was arrested twice. Tumanyan also deeply criticized the Georgian-Armenian War of 1918. Tumanyan was also actively engaged in preaching the gospel. As he put in one of his verses there is only one way of salvation, through Jesus Christ abiding inside every one of us. In October 1914 Tumanyan joined the Committee for Support of War Victims, which later helped Armenian genocide refugees settled in Echmiajd. In 1921 in Tiflis he founded the House of Armenian Art. Tumanyan's work is simple, natural and poetically inspired at the same time. It is not by mere chance that dozens of phrases and expressions from Tumanyan's works have become a natural part of people's everyday language, their sayings, adages, and maxims. Tumanyan is usually regarded in Armenian circles as all Armenian poet. He earned this title when the Catholicos of Armenia had ordered that Armenian refugees from the West not enter certain areas of his church and house, since he is considered to be the Catholicos of all Armenians. Tumanyan in response decried that decision claiming that the refugees could seek relief in the Catholicos quarters under order of the poet of all Armenians. He created lyrics, fables, 
epic poems and translations into Armenian of Byron, Buddha, and Pushkin. Tumanyan's most famous works include, Tombstone of Tumanyan in the Armenian Pantheon of Tbilisi. Tumanyan's works were translated by Valery Bryusov, Konstantin Balmont, Joseph Brodsky, Samuel Marshik, Bela Ekmandalina and others. The following places were named after Tumanyan. Tumanyan's House Museum in Seg There are two museums of Tumanyan in Armenia, one in his birthplace Seg and another one in Yerevan. Tumanyan's museum in Yerevan was opened in 1953. In autumn of 2011 the government of Armenia purchased Tumanyan's house in Tbilisi from its Georgian owner and its keys are currently kept at the Writers' Union of Armenia. The house will presumably be established as a museum. The following films were adapted from Havana's Tumanyan's works. Thanks for watching.